Hi, I'm Patty with Studio R12 Stencils, and today we are going to be stenciling faces on pumpkins. Super easy way to make your pumpkins be amazing. All right, guys, we have the coolest assortment of pumpkin faces. They're on our website. You can check them all out. I'm not going to show you all of them. I like happy face pumpkins, but we've got creepy face pumpkins and spooky face pumpkins as well. Um, but what's really interesting is when you have a pumpkin face stencil and you have all these different shapes of pumpkins, there's some tricks that you can do to be able to pumpkin to stencil on your pumpkin. So I'm going to show you some of those tricks today. So, and if you are a pumpkin carving person and you would rather carve your pumpkin, these are actually from the craft store um, and they are carvable foam pumpkins. So you can actually carve into these and then put a, a battery operated candle in them and stuff like that. But what happens if you have a short squat pumpkin and your face is super concentrated like that? So what we do is you can do a couple of things. You can take your scissor and you can separate the bits. So I'm just going to go ahead and take my pumpkin apart, my pumpkin stencil apart. You don't have to cut it into pieces, um, but because the plastic sheet is flat and your pumpkin is curved, it's gonna be easier to manage your pieces if they're in parts. But if you didn't want to cut it, then you wouldn't have to. Okay, so what you're gonna do is you're going to take your little pumpkin eyes and you're gonna kind of decide where you want them. I can space my eyes as far apart as I want to. And then I, what I can do is take my little ceramic leaded marker, get my glasses on, and I can kind of mark where I'm gonna put that. So I might say, yes, I love that here. And this step is actually the same step that you would take if you were gonna carve with a stencil. So you would take your stencil bit and you would mark your pumpkin, and then you would car carve it with your carving tool and then that is how you would carve. So that's a super easy way to use your stencil to get your pattern. And that's really fun when you start getting into these kind of different designs with a whole bunch of details on them. Okay, so then I'll take my other eye and I'll lay that out. And the reason I'm marking it is so that I can put the stencil back there once I decide I like the layout of everything. Doo -doo. Get my nose centered here. And this pumpkin is light and it's sliding away. Um, if you take a little piece of um, silicone mat or something like that, a silpat from your cooking supplies, that's a really easy way to keep the pumpkin from slipping away from you. I found a uh, bar stool that has some padding on it. If you don't have a padded bar stool, just putting a towel or something on that will keep it from sliding around, keep your pumpkin from sliding. If your pumpkin has some weight to it and it's a natural pumpkin, then you won't have the same difficulty. I get my smile on there. All right, and just trace just to keep it marked. And I think for the fatness of my pumpkin and filming, I think I'm going to actually put my face on this other pumpkin so it'll be much easier for you guys to see. I've got my face transferred onto the pumpkin and I've got him resting on the on the countertop on just an apron. And now let's talk about the pieces. Plastic, hard plastic pieces are more tricky to make go around and stick on a lumpy shape, okay? So that is very important. What I'm going to use is I'm going to use this little um, repositionable adhesive tape. And I'm gonna go around the shape of my stencil. As long as you keep that clean, then it should not need to be redone. Okay, now we will take and position, and I'm laughing at myself because I taped the wrong side of my mouth, but that'll be okay because that little marker is um, erasable with water or spit or eraser. So make sure that you keep your pattern going the right way uh, when you're putting your adhesive on. Okay, so we're gonna take our dome brush and we're gonna take our paper towel and we're going to load onto a dry dome brush and then offload, and then you're gonna do some trickery, okay? So in order to get that to lay down everywhere, you're going to kind of prop it with your finger. If you have a, a painting partner buddy, then you can have them help you hold it down. But that is how you, you just kind of ease towards where you're going, 
and just keep pouncing straight up and down. A lot of times in our videos, and by the way, if you haven't subscribed and rung the bell for our videos, you'll wanna do that because we have a lot of really good DIY stuff. Um, but a lot of times in our video, we swirl. In this case, because there's so many lumps and bumps, you're not able to do that. So then we're just gonna keep reloading. And you can paint right on any pumpkin, a natural pumpkin, a plastic pumpkin or whatever. If you're on a plastic pumpkin that's slick, then you'll want to use some Deco Art paint adhesion medium. And this is a really great product for um, slick things, plastics, metals, that kind of thing. It really does a great, great job. And then what you would do with that is you would wash your pumpkin with like, wipe it down with vinegar, let it dry, apply the adhesion medium, and then that is what is going to um, keep your paint sticking there. And so you could just stencil right on it with the adhesion medium. So notice that that side pops up and that is perfectly fine. Just make sure we stick it down where we're at. Stay. Okay, and then we come back over to the beginning, line our stencil back up, and repeat. All right, guys, here we go. We have a painted pumpkin face. And what I love about this is um, you can paint your pumpkin face on any one of your pumpkins that you have, on all of your pumpkins, and it's a great way to get a drawn pumpkin face on a pumpkin without having to have like art skills. So, don't forget that you can also paint pumpkin faces on other things. So this is just a galvanized bucket. You can use your paint adhesion medium to help the paint stick, add some check detail, and then you've got a beautiful fall project. Happy painting.